Hey guys, what's up? Today we'll be doing a signature tutorial for, uh, for, um, on Photoshop, sorry. Um, first things first, you're going to want to go to a website where you can get a render or any old picture that you want to use in your signature. This one looks pretty cool. Oh, I'll do this, bitchin'. Yes, you're going to, if you're a member of planetrenders.net, click it and open it. Once it fully opens, you just save it to your desktop. If you're not a member, you can uh, save it and then cut it out with the uh, lasso tool. Some people use the magic wand tool, but lasso tool is better. And, uh, but if you're already a member, you can save it and it will save transparent. Exit out that. When was that? Open up Photoshop here for you. Um, first thing you're wanted, gonna, going to want to do go download some brushes just search uh, Photoshop background brushes or grunge brushes or abstract brushes on Google what you going to want to do make a new one it's going to be 500 width by 150 height and resolution 72 and you have background contents leave it white don't change it to transparent or anything and go okay now you got like that open it up a little bit so you have a little workspace put it up in the corner wherever you like it um what you're going to want to do so let me zoom in here so you get the full experience all right there we go we got the start now we're going to open up what i just saved from planet renders which would be that nasty ass cool picture you saw right there see that you're going to get bring your toolbar over click the mouse right up at the top um you're going to you're going to drag the picture onto there and it'll come in a bigger size so what you're going to want to do Control T on your keyboard, and then you can resize it. But you're gonna wanna hold Shift as you resize it, so the pixels won't go all out of place on you. Just keep holding Shift until you think you have it, what you like, at uh, what you like. That looks pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it at that. So you might notice that little yellow thing right there. We can just get rid of that. Take the lasso tool. Press delete. There you go. That's pro. What you gonna want to do from here? Get your layers thing up. Make two new layers. Layer two and layer three, so they appear on top of layer one. What you gonna want to do? Is you're gonna want to get a color. From here, you can use the eye drop tool. Eye drop tool. I'm gonna take the blue of his hair for one color. Another color, you can get a gray because gray works with basically anything. So gray and whatever. Take the paint bucket tool. Make sure you're on layer three and fill it up with the blue. Switch colors. Click on layer 2. You won't be able to see it, but fill layer 2 with gray. If you just take the eyeball off that, that's your layer 2. That's your layer 1. And that's just the background with nothing on it. Alright, so if you have eyeballs and everything, meaning you see everything, layer 3 is on top, followed by layer 2, layer 1, and background. Um, get your eraser tool and choose a brush for the eraser, not just a circle, like a grunge brush or a background brush. I'm going to choose this one. It's very cool. Get your eraser tool out and start, like, erasing stuff so it reveals layer 2's gray. And then go to layer 2. What you're going to want to do on layer 2, you're going to want to erase some more so you can see the picture. Ooh, that's naughty. Now you're going to want to drag layer 1 onto the top so it reveals layer 1 along with the background that we just erased. Now you can add can add the gray with the brush tool if you want. Um, you can also mess around with this. Change the uh, overlay so you can see it behind the thing. It's kind of cool. You can barely see it though. Um, overlay right there. Linear blur. Linear burn. Darken, can change anything. I'm just gonna leave it at normal. Um, soft light is pretty cool. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Um, so just put it at normal. Once your layer one's back on top, like this, what you're gonna want to do? Right-click layer one, duplicate, duplicate layer. Press OK. You have layer one copy right there. What you're gonna want to do with layer one copy? Once again, you're gonna want to go Control T and Shift and make it bigger. Make it a little bit bigger than layer one. 
I just want to make it bigger like that. Drag layer one over the layer one copy so it looks like that. What you're going to want to do, you're going to click on the layer one copy. And you want to go down to this little thing that look, looks kind of like a yin yang right here. You want to press it and go down to gradient. Second one down. What you're going to want to do, you can have whatever color you want for the gradient. I'm just going to leave it at gray. Press OK. It should look like that. That's pretty cool. Now you're going to go to text. You're going to find a text you want. Use some cool gothic text or whatnot. I'm going to go with, let's see, Resident Evil text. Put right here. I like that. Change the color. Whatever color you want. I'm going to throw on some white. Pone cakes. Make the font bigger if you want. If it's too small for your liking. Mess around with the font until you like that. And that looks like a pretty cool sig. So that's your final project. And you can just file. Save as. Save it as a JPG. JPEG, sorry. And name it whatever you want. Like sig. I'm going to name on that. Click on save. OK. And there you go. You got your sig. You just started from a little picture like this and some some brushes and you came out with that result and that looks pretty cool. Alright, this is We Are The Noise and that's how to make a basic signature on Photoshop CS2.